Hello and welcome to the Adobe Muse tutorial part 3. Today I'm going to show you how to insert HTML into your web page and I'm also going to show you how to add slideshows to your website as well which is a built-in feature within Adobe Muse. So first off I'm going to show you how to get some HTML into your site. So if you've got a web page and you want to add some HTML to it, all you've got to do is go up here and click on object and then click on insert HTML and then this box will appear for you and it will ask you to insert your HTML now obviously by now you've got your HTML that you want to insert so I'm just going to insert some random HTML from a website and when you've got all your HTML and you've got all, all the HTML that you need just click OK. Now you don't actually see much. Um, it shows you a still image of the HTML. So if it's a moving HTML, which is like a flash, um, this will not appear in flash at the moment until you actually go um, and preview it in the preview tab or preview it in your browser. But it's showing you that you've got your bit of HTML on your web page now so you just put that wherever you want it and then to check that it's working just click on preview and then it will then show you the HTML that you've just inserted so that is how you that's as simple as it is that's all you've got to do to insert HTML into a web page is just go to object insert HTML and then that's it you're done so that's that now I'm going to show you how to put some slideshows into your web page so you've got a little bar here and if you don't have that little bar you can go up to windows and then you can go to widgets library because it's in widgets library so make sure that's ticked and then it will pop up here on the right hand side and it's under slideshows now there's um, a couple of different slideshows there's, there's four in total at the moment this might change when they actually bring a different version of uh, Adobe Muse but at the moment there's still only four different types so if we just go start off with a basic one because I think that is probably the easiest one also if you just uh, if you just click on that it shows you a little picture here of what what they consist of so you can have a little rough idea of which one would be better for you but anyway I'm going to drag that one over to there and then what happens is on the bottom left here you can decide what you're going to call this picture so I'm going to call it random and then this is picture one of three and this is a play button as well now this these two buttons here obviously resemble going backwards and forwards um, or I, I believe this button here also resembles the fact it will just play through automatically so if I just go next it will then show me the next one and then I can change that to whatever I want so I'm going to put that as a flower because it is a flower obviously um, and then I'm going to go next and hang on a minute I think I went I went far too forward so I went on to number three um, so I'll rename this one to um, random two okay so now I've got all three done so page one is random page 2 is random 2 and page 3 is flower so that's three pictures there in your slideshow and I've just realized now what this button is sorry um, if you click anywhere on this actual widget this play button here gives you more options and from here you can then add more pictures to your slideshow now I'm just going to quickly use um, a photo of me and then I can choose a transition as well now it takes a while to load it takes longer because I'm actually using um, a program to record this but then I can just add this one as me and then if I want to go back to that I then go here and I can choose to have all different kind of effects and transitions um, I can also choose captions as well so that gives you a bit more options as well as the option to add more photos 
so now to see this in play all you got to do is go to the preview tab or you can even open up in your browser it's up to you and um, it automatically does it for you I believe yeah it automatically does it for you but you can skip forward quicker and just um, by clicking them buttons there so but that is it that's that's as easy as that is as well this is another easy thing to add to your website so that's been how that's, this video has been on how to show you how to add HTML and slideshows to your web page so I hope you enjoyed it and please rate and subscribe and I will see you in part 4